Hi, I'm Cece Bubble and I'm here at Liberty Best of British Design Open Call. I'm one of the judges today and I'm, I'm just really interested to see con um, beautiful design coming from all over the country and because I'm so used to London centric things so I'm um, really excited to see what's on offer. I'm Tayse Jabril, I'm a textile designer and I've come all the way from Scotland. Um, I'm bringing today my silk scarves, they're all inspired by the Scottish Highlands. Um, they're Scottish with a twist. Hello, my name's Judy Larby from Adzo Designs. I'm a jeweller and I do handcrafted luxury made um, items. And I got here at, I think, about 5.55 this morning, super, super early. Hi, my name's Chris. I've come from Hackney today to show my label TDLM. We're a menswear brand. Hi, I'm Faye Tugard and I'm here today to help out. We're going to be looking at all the designers' work and I'm really excited about um, looking at the, the work that they've brought in and to see if we can bring on board some really exciting designers for Liberty today. Hi, we're the Beauty Buy-In team here at Liberty and we're really excited to see some interesting beauty products today. It's the first time we've ever had beauty at the open call, so hopefully we'll find something for the department. We are expecting 600 designers today and as you can see behind me, the first wave are here already. People arrived at 5am this morning and we're expecting to still be seeing people at 5pm tonight. So a really, really long day, very exciting. Hey, I'm Ed Ristel, I'm the Managing Director here at Liberty at another British Open Day. Um, we have 600 people, we've just started letting them in. We've seen one or two great things already. We probably will see between 15 and 20, you know, that we'll have some serious conversations with. Of that group, probably half will become regular suppliers. We've had a really good start to the day here at the uh, Liberty Open Call. We met a Japanese guy called Takashi who has some great vintage rucksacks and tote bags made out of army surplus and leather goods. And then we've just seen a girl who does some great um, printed silk tunic tops um, with laser cut suede details around the edge at a really good price point. So, so far so good. My name is Michael Logan Shayton here at Liberty today, uh, presenting a wallet to the buyers. It went quite well, I'm quite happy with how it went in the first round, got some good feedback. Uh, second round's coming up soon, hopefully we'll make it through to getting into the store I guess eventually. Hi, I'm Lizzie Ashard, I've got a company called Morgan Ashard. We make bespoke carpets, handmade in Nepal, with uh, vegetable dyes, very beautiful. Hi, I'm Simon and this is Claire. We're from Made with Love Designs and we've travelled down from Manchester today and we're just going to go and see the judges and hopefully get into liberties. Hello, I'm Michelle and I'm really excited about today's open call. Um, the last open call was so successful for us, I actually took on eight new brands um, across the board in home, so I'm hoping for the same response this time. This is my lamp and I have brought along a stool and a candelabra today. Um, I went to see the judges and they were really uh, pleased with my work and they were impressed. Um, I think they liked the rustic element of it and uh, so I've been put through to the next round. here today to present my scarves. Um, it just went really well in my first presentation so I'm through to the next round and I'm really excited. 
Hi, I'm Louis Matthew and I'm the events officer here and this is Desi Greenwood, she's the event manager. Um, it's just gone midday and we've seen over 300 people already this morning so it's been a fantastic atmosphere hasn't it Desi? It's been an amazing day in terms of everyone starting to queue from 6am. Uh, everyone seems a little bit more nervous, a little bit more calm this time. This is our fourth year yep. um, and uh, it's almost as though it's our first year. Everybody's still so excited. We're from uh, Cherry Pie Couture and we make um, really cool aprons. There we go. <laughs> We've designed a range of aprons that are sort of based around the 50s home style. Hi, I'm Trisha. Uh, I'm a fashion designer and I've brought my first collection here to show Liberty. My collection is basically in, um, it's based around a girl who's, who still believes in fairy tales and who's still got that, who believes there's magic, who believes there's um, everything's possible. My name is Piers Candy and uh, I make my own handmade lighting range. I've been here since 10 o'clock queuing, chatting to lots of interesting people. Um, and I went to see the bars and everything went really well. We've seen some quite crazy things, some late expos. Um, we found one really cool card woman which we were really excited about. Yeah. Lady that produces really good repetitive print. Um, quite geometric, really current on trend at the moment with really good sort of prices so we're really excited about that. Hi, my name is Ruba and my brand is called Chou à la Crème which is basically cream puffs in French. Um, it's a line of paper goods and stationery and I just came out of the judges room and it actually went really well. My theory is, you know, just because it's disposable it doesn't have to be ugly, it should be pretty. So we did meet an interesting girl and the brand was Colomino. She's actually producing the, her coats in London Fields, which is the same factory as what her Burberry makes. So it's really interesting for us and it's a UK brand and it's great quality and you can get a shearling for around £600. So we really like that brand. So I think we've gone through about 15 people but, and actually it's totally exceeded my expectations and I've got about five or six people that I really want to follow up on. Hi, I, my name's Esme Winter. I've just seen to, uh, been to see Bryony and Maria to show them my stationary range of notebooks and wrapping paper. I think it went really well as I'm now sitting here waiting for the second round. <laughs>